Hi, Bob Johnson with PK and W Railroad. Are you still painting your models with expensive paint that comes in little bottles like this? Well, ironically, I paint my models with Montana Black Graffiti Spray Paint. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Well, I know that graffiti is a divisive topic in the hobby. Some people love it, some people think it's art, but it doesn't really matter what you think about it. You've got to acknowledge graffiti spray paint artists know spray paint. So the purpose of this video is to help you figure out a way to utilize one of their tools. They've got great spray paint that they use. It obviously lasts a long time in a harsh outdoor environment. So it's good stuff. It's also very economical. So here's a little bit more about it. In a subsequent video, I'll show how I decant the paint out of these cans in order to use it in my airbrush. But this video is just going to be about the paint itself and some of its properties. This is Montana Black Graffiti Spray Paint. This was recommended to me by the proprietor of a graffiti paint store. Uh, as a great matte finish and it's what I've been using. It's outstanding. It's acetone based. It's made in Germany and we know the Germans make good stuff. Here you see a color chart showing the 170 colors that are available from Montana Black. There are other brands out there by the way. Iron Lac from Australia, although it's made in China now. Plutonium, which is lacquer based and I certainly look forward to trying that in the future. But the, with 170 paints to choose from, you should be able to mix and match just about any color you could imagine. There's more than 24 of those Model Master paints in one of these Montana Black spray cans, and you can store it in there almost indefinitely and then decant it out as at will. So, where can you buy this esoteric stuff? Well, it's not so esoteric. Here you see you can get it over the internet for $80 as of the time of this video production, which is May of 2018, you can get 12 cans, 400 milliliter cans of Montana Black, including shipping for $80, which comes out to $6.66 a can. I know $80 is a lot of money for paint, but think of it this way. To get the same quantity of paint in Model Master, assuming it was $4 a jar, would cost you over $1,100. This 12-pack looks outstanding to me, and I'll probably get it. It has all of the primary colors, black, white, gray. There's just about, you could mix about any color you want out of this. One of the attractions of the Hobby Paints is, of course, it's pre-mixed for specific shades that you might want for your projects, such as UP Yellow, UP Armor Yellow, I believe it's called. Well, colors are not consistent or standard, here are a few pictures I took, same day, same lighting conditions, in the Roseville Yard in Northern California, in the Sacramento area, and you can see that there's a lot of variation in the colors. One of these looks more orange, some of these are much lighter, some are darker. Weather makes a huge impact on the actual colors of the locomotive. More on this later in a subsequent video, but colors are very, uh, non-standard and uh, don't be used by a manufacturer's statement that they've done the perfect UP armor yellow or some rivet counters comment that your model isn't the right color yellow. That's a lot of crap. Here you see some projects that I have completed using the Montana black spray paint. The base color for my freelance railroad is an orange color. I use Adams Mega Blast Montana black color for that and you can see some well cars that I painted with that paint. At the time I did this first project I really wasn't thinning it properly and it still came out just fine. But again you should be thinning with acetone and you'll see a couple of additional pictures of the models a little bit further on in the process of uh, being completed and um, being decaled and yes I did strip the paint off those walkways I know they should not have been painted. This next shot is a DPM uh, design preservation models uh, structure kit that I'm working on. Probably do a separate video about this particular project, which I'm really enjoying. But the base color here 
for the brick is actually made with uh, the Montana black spray paint two different red colors that I've uh, mixed together to create that uh, base color for the brick well thanks for watching my video despite my t-shirt I am not a graffiti artist but I am an artist and so are you if you're a model railroader and part of being an artist is learning about new media and this Montana black graffiti spray paint is just such a new media, I think. One day I just had a thought, what do they use to do that uh, graffiti work? And maybe there's something we can learn from it. So hopefully you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed the video. Subscribe, hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. Until next time. Happy modeling.